Welcome to Panevejis district, a region that has something for everyone, from historical manners and beautiful nature, to airplanes and even a horror theme park. You'll find Panevejis district in the north of Lithuania, surrounding Panevejis city. It is easily reached from the capital Vilnius with just one and a half hours drive away. Panevišis district is the second largest municipality in Lithuania and its population reaches around 35,000 in 2022. While Panevežys city is all industrial and busy, Panevežys district is nothing like it. The only thing that reminds here of industry is its expansive farmland taking over a large part of the district. But as it is such a large district, there is a lot of beautiful nature, historical sites and even museums. When speaking of museums, one of the most interesting places to see in Panevežys district is Istra Aviation Museum. Conveniently situated right next to the highway Vilnius Riga, it is a great place for a stop when passing by. The museum has a variety of old and rare aircraft parts on display, ranging from radio devices and black boxes to pilot gear. There even is a display of pilot knives. Outside, there is an interesting display of Soviet fighter jets and helicopters built between the 1950s and 60s. As the museum is situated in a small airfield, one can also book a sightseeing flight. Well, of course not with these airplanes, but with small civil aircrafts. Another place reminding of the Cold War is quite peculiar. It is a Soviet bunker and military base built in 1969, but the current owners repurposed it and made a horror theme park. It even gets creepier when you have to drive away from the main road into a forest to reach it. I visited the park when it was decorated for its favorite holiday, Halloween. The park outdoors was quite creepy, but there are things to see here even not during the holidays, as it is full of interesting metal sculptures and other structures created by the owner himself. There also are picnic areas and places for barbecue. But the really scary things hide inside the bunkers themselves, of which I will not show you here, as it will spoil everything. But for my little one, even just the outdoors was scary enough. On the other hand, quite an opposite experience can be had at the Strampolis Manor House. It is a hotel and restaurant with a pretty park surrounding it, which all together can transport one to the 19th century life of luxury. The Strampolis was built in the 1850s in neoclassical style and for centuries belonged to the Strampoli family. A famous Polish writer and Nobel Prize winner, Henryk Sienkiewicz, was a family relative and here he wrote some of his famous works, the trilogy, a historical novel set in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Today the manor still has many original buildings left and it is quite interesting to have a look around. Inside there is a hotel if you want to stay longer, but it is lovely even just to stop by for a dinner. The restaurant has some signature dishes on the menu. Even though there is no museum inside, one can just walk around and have a look at the two floors which are open for public. Outside is where a lot of activities can be done. First and most noticeable is the Manors Park, which is a bit small compared with many other parks I have visited around Lithuania, but it is well taken care of. There are plenty of sculptures all around as well. The park looked amazing in the colorful autumn time in the beginning of October when I filmed this. The manor also has a large stable with many horses available for visitors to have a ride. On the other side there are some play and sports areas as well as a mini zoo with farm animals and deers. This was quite fun for the kids. 15 minutes away from the manor there also is another historical place, a windmill from the 19th century. Today it is a museum of linen making, the fabric Lithuania is famous for, although the museum opens on call only. From here we go to one of the most popular natural places in Panevėžys district, Krekenava Regional Park. It protects the river valley of Nevežys river, which changed its riverbed many times throughout the centuries, creating a series of small curved lakes which you can see all along the riverside when traveling through the regional park. 
but most visible is at Nevejes River Valley Cognitive Trail. It is around one and a half kilometer long and leads by those little lakes in Lithuania called Sanvage. I visited this place on a day when orienteering sports competition was happening there. The area was full of athletes running and cycling everywhere. Orienteering is quite popular in Lithuania, even I was participating in it for a few years. I think this sport is a perfect combination of activity and admiration of nature, as the competitions take place at different natural areas all around the country. However, Krekenova Regional Park is most famous for something else hiding in a forest. It is the only place in Lithuania where you can see European bisons. They were actually extinct in the wild in the beginning of 20th century, but a few that were left in captivity were reintroduced in many areas around Europe, including Pashile in Krekanava Regional Park in 1969. Now there are around 3,000 European bisons, and it is still in the red list of endangered species. In Lithuania there are around 200 so far. Today I cannot show much of them to you because the visitors area is under reconstruction until 2023. But I will definitely come back when it reopens. Additionally, at the making of this video, some news came out that another European bison sanctuary is getting introduced in the south of Lithuania. So maybe we will see more of them in the future. Not far from Pashile, there is another place to have a short walk through the local forest. It is a cognitive forest trail spanning only 600 meters, but it has plenty of information about trees and forest management, as well as a cute wooden tower and more. From there we can see a small river valley. Just a few hundred meters away there is access to the river itself, which has a large stone in it, named Rapolas. Large rocks and stones are quite rare in Lithuania, so finding such a stone is a big deal for the locals. Next, let's go to quite a unique looking place, the Neliškis Linden Alley. While I visited many alleys during my travels in Lithuania, this one looks like one of the most picturesque as the trees are so close to each other. The alley consists of around 360 trees and it used to lead to a manor house, which is no longer here. The best place to have an overall look of Krekenova Regional Park is at its visitor center near Krekenova town. Here not only one can get to know the park in the indoor exhibition, but also climb the overlook tower. At 25 meters height, we can see a lot of Nevejes River Valley and its old riverbed lakes. Next to the tower, there also is a small park, which is a great spot for rest and a picnic. From here we go to one more historical place, a museum of Lithuanian book smugglers. While the museum itself can be visited upon appointment only, the place itself is interesting to have a look from outside as well, as it is an authentic 19th century house and granary. This is where book smugglers used to hold meetings and hide Lithuanian books from the Russian Empire regime. And lastly, we visit one of the more popular hill forts of the regional park. Upite Hill Fort is conveniently reached from the main road. It is not so large but has an interesting shape and is surrounded by two small rivers. I guess the hill fort could be quite a nice place to stop by on a better day than the one that I happened to be there. Overall, it looks like Panevijis district is a great place to visit for the whole family, as everyone can find something interesting to explore here. It is a good destination for a day trip or even a whole weekend if staying overnight, especially in Bestrampolis Manor House. So, see you in Panevijis district. Thanks for watching.